hello everyone and welcome to vest talk i this is literally just another video about a vest of mine that i'm just really excited to get to working on and to show off to everybody um i didn't do any videos about the process of doing this because i wasn't sure how it was going to turn out and it turned out so nicely that I definitely regret not filming any of it. I do have some pictures. I'll put up a before picture. It was a flat purple vest that I had um, originally dyed. I think, I think it started as a light blue torrid vest that I dyed purple. I had no idea what to do with this vest and I want to do a cryptid vest. I've been collecting cryptid patches for a few months and I wasn't for sure what I wanted to do. I didn't want it to be just purple because originally this was going to be a villain's vest. It was going to be like a Disney villain's, you know, Maleficent, Ursula, um, Dr. Facilier, but that hasn't happened but i've been collecting cryptid stuff so i wanted a cryptid vest so i wanted to turn this vest into a more of a darker less disney friendly kind of vest and i wasn't sure how to do that i wanted it to go from light to dark and this was just my experiment um vest so at the top i wanted it a little bit lighter so i did mist it with bleach to get lighter if you get really closer you can see the different dots of the bleach um and i wasn't sure how i was going to turn out with the black dye i prepped it just like you would if you were tie dyeing with writ dye so just putting it super hot water with like a tablespoon of bleach or something in a tie dyeing bottle and i used that and that's what i sprayed it with um, I think I used more of like, I think I used like a grill condiment bottle. Um, I did have pictures, like I literally just did it over a bucket in my kitchen. I clipped a little, um, like a pants hanger on it or something. I hung it on a, those little clippy hangers. And I literally just let it sit like that for like a day and a half. Because I can't microwave it because it has metal buttons and I'm not going to, you know, ruin my microwave for some for some dye but so I let it sit for a day and a half and it came out so much nicer than expected so it's got the light at the top the more purpley in the mid region and then the dark is just the bottom is just like a dark and it is so nice and it is so I think it's so more so much more cryptid friendly and I I I love it I love it I love everything about it so I'll show you a quick little clip of the up close it and then I'm going to show you the patches that I want to put on it. She was a solid purpley color. I sprayed bleach towards the top to give it a lighter feel up here and then it stayed darker purple down here and I added the black dye and this turned out so well. It's exactly what I was looking for. I mean some of the bumps look a little weird but they're gonna get covered up with patches anyway but this lighter to darker is what I was looking for for my cryptid vest all right so I do have a I do have quite a few cryptid patches and I have seen so many really really nice ones that I do hope to get someday first up is these um folklore ones that I did open in a previous video. These were mystery patches from Hot Topic. We got the mummy, we got vampire, we got a little devil. We got this Wendigo, love him. A werewolf. And we got this little she, she demon. Which I love these. There are a few in that set that I don't have, but I didn't get a duplicate. I don't think I got a duplicate of these. So I, if I get more to get the ones that I'm missing, I'll end up with duplicates and that worries me. 
but instead I, I got the one that I wanted the Wendigo was the one that I wanted the most but I might just not get any more of those and get just just use that money towards getting other um, independently done um, patches this one is more cartoony but I think this is adorable um, I did get this one off Etsy it's believe in yourself and I can't know if you can tell but it's multicolored down here and it's really cute I had originally got this for a my main Fiona vest but I it's so cutesy I don't know if I want to put it on my to on my vest but the pins that I got for my cryptid vest are really cutesy and cartoony so I don't think that's a good enough reason not to put this on that vest so it'll probably go on it because it's that's cute and all of these ones I did get from Hot Topic because Hot Topic had a whole bunch of cute cryptidy stuff so we got Bigfoot, Yeti, Kraken, the Jersey Devil, my favorite the Wendigo and my other favorite Mothman I love them I want to get Oh, there's so many other cryptids and patches to get. I I love this. This is amazing. I also did get these from Hot Topic. These are the pins that I got for my vest. These are really cutesy styled ones. Obviously, I'm rooting for the wind to go. I'm so excited to just put the patches on the vest and get it done. So yeah, that is just a little vest talk. I will show you when I get some work done on it. With the actual patches and the pins and hopefully I get some more cool stuff to put on it so thank you guys so much for watching leave name suggestions in the comment section if you have any name suggestions for her she might just be one of my favorites mm -hmm.